Then take a look at the Simpure filter housing. So here is the housing. We have a pressure relief button here on the top. We have threaded ports on both sides. It does say in and out, so you want to make sure that the water is flowing that direction. Yeah, we can kind of see how that is going to work. So the inlet is right there, so the water is going to come in from this side. The water will travel through the filter, go back in the top, and then come out the out. So if you look at the bottom, we can see that inner ring is a little bit longer than the outer ring. The outer ring is going to be where the filter sits on, and then the inner ring is just going to be to center it. Each housing has its own filters that it's designed for. This is going to be designed for 10 inches by 2.5 inches. You can use any filter that you want that is within that size, but you're not going to be able to put like a 5-inch filter inside here. It simply will not fit. We've got a lot of reinforcement here on the outside. This is going to be where you put your filter wrench. It's either going to line up with this part of the housing, and then you're going to use that to actually rotate that off and it actually comes with a filter wrench you want to put this up as high as you possibly can and then just tap that off or tap that on and it has a loop on the back so you can hang this guy up we also have a mounting plate so this will sit right on top and you'll screw that in we do also have four screws so we can screw that down and it looks like this mounting bracket is going to be capable of mounting to this as well as larger size housings because we got the end here and the out here you can mount this so it is like that or so it is like this depending on which direction you have your hoses coming in from so now it's just going to be a matter of putting four bolts in here and mounting that to a wall. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to isolate this filter. So if you have a valve on either side, you would shut that off. The little red button on the top, you press that in to relieve the pressure. Put on your filter ridge. Crack it loose. So this filter, that hole is going to line up with that peg. And there will be another one on the inside. They pretty much self-align, but you do still want to be careful because you don't want this thing to be lopsided while it's in there. And then we we'll just tighten it back up. You don't really need to crush that thing. You just need to get a couple of taps because we do not want to destroy that O-ring. Yeah, that is it.